Hi, this is Dr. Habib. Today we're going to talk about the ECG feature on Apple's watch. The Apple ECG is a one lead. Conventionally, when you go to your doctor's office, we do a 12 lead ECG. And I want to dis differentiate between the one lead, the 12 lead, and then overall heart health. The one lead looks at the rhythm. It's either normal, we call it sinus, or it's abnormal, specifically atrial fibrillation. What is atrial fibrillation? When you have a beat and you measure it one beat after another and it's regular, we call that regular. Sometimes you skip a beat, we may sometimes call it regular, but regularly irregular. Atrial fibrillation means that between every single heartbeat, it's irregularly irregular. There's a problem with that. And so atrial fibrillation creates turbulence in the chamber of the heart because the beats are not smooth and that turbulence creates a clot. If you have a clot in the heart chamber, wherever that blood pumps, you can dislodge that clot into an organ like your brain, the kidney or a big toe. And whatever it dislodges, the blood flow will be interrupted and whatever tissue it was supplying may die. 12 lead much more information because as 12 leads suggest it leads on the arm the right arm the left arm the leg leads across the heart where all the different parts of the heart can be visualized and so there is a, a much more value in that because not only can it measure the rhythm it can also measure the thickness of the heart the thicker the heart the stronger the electrical impulse and we have a way to figure out whether you have enlargement of the heart the shape of the heart we can even identify if an event took place in other words if something had happened to the heart and uh, there was damage the electrical uh, impulse would be altered and we can pick that up but neither one explains total heart health because in the heart you have layers the electrical is on the outside but then you have the blood flow the coronary arteries you have the muscle of the heart you have the lining of the heart called the endothelium you have valves inside the heart every component of the heart is related to overall heart health but when you hear about heart health primarily it's going to be about blood flow or lack of the most devastating being a heart attack, where an artery is closed off with a blood clot, a platelet plug. The other form is blockages that people consider heart attacks, but really blockages the buildup of plaque like cholesterol, calcium, cholesterol, calcium, and limiting the blood flow in the coronary arteries means you may get angina, pain when you exert yourself. So heart health, primarily blood flow, is the most important factor that cannot be determined with a one lead nor a 12 lead and blood flow you can figure that out yourself because if the blood is being compromised blood flow is being compromised in the kidney or the eyes you can be sure it's compromised in the heart those two areas are difficult to figure out however most men have a way to measure the arterial function long before blood pressure long before heart disease namely as they get a little older, if the strength of the erection starts to go down, or worse still, it's very difficult to get an erection, that inherently is the first sign of heart disease. In other words, blockage is coming around the corner, or worse still, inflammation, which leads to heart attack, is around the corner. So I would summarize by saying one lead has use usefulness for normal rhythm, abnormal rhythm like atrial fibrillation. 12 lead has that and ability to look at events that have taken place, the size, the shape of the heart, and more rhythm diagnosis. Heart health is much more complicated, but for this purpose, thinking about blood flow is 80% plus of all heart health related uh, conditions.